So we have the following one. We have to find V1, V2, and V3 using nodal analysis. So we actually uh, are going to have two uh, super meshes, this one and this one, because we can't find the equation for any current passing through it. So let's write. Let's say we had a current moving this direction and a current moving this direction. For this one, let's write an equation to represent it. So it'll be V1 minus 12 because it's leaving from the negative terminal, and this will be equal to V3. And for the second one, it'll be V uh, V1 minus 2i. 2i is the voltage value for that source, and this will be equal to V2. Now let's write the direction, and so now let's treat this as one mesh, and sorry, one node, and same with this one. So let's have, uh, whoops, let's have I1 traveling in this direction, I2 traveling in this direction, I3 traveling in this direction, I4 traveling in this direction and I5 traveling in this direction. Since these two are one whole uh, node, uh, anything entering or leaving this node is equal to anything entering or leaving this node. So let's write an equation for a node V1 and V2. So I1 and I2 are leaving. Uh, I just realized I, we, we don't really need to include that I3 because remember, this is one whole uh, node. So, yeah. So, I think everyone everyone's leaving. So, it'll be I4 plus I5. All right. So, that's the first equation that's done. Now, let's work on the second equation. So, node V3, it's I1 that's entering it, and this will be equal to uh, I5 that's also entering it, and this is equal, sorry, plus I5 that's entering it, so I1 plus I5, and this is equal to I. So let's find uh, equations to represent these I values. So I1, it'll be, uh, we can't find I1 so because, uh, like I said, there's no like resistor to help us find it. Let's find I2. I2, V1 over 4, I3, obviously we're not working, focus on I3, I4 will be V2 all over 1, uh, I5 will be V2 minus V3 all over 2, and I will be V3 over 4. So let's plug in these equations. So this one. It will be I1 plus I2, V1 over 4, plus V2 plus V2 minus V3, all over 2. And this one, it will be I1 plus I5, V2 minus V3, all over 2, equals V3 over 4. Okay? Now we can actually bring this to the other side. So to get I1 alone. So I1 is equal to uh, minus V2 plus V3 all over uh, 2. All right? And we can plug that into here. So we can write one giant equation. And this giant equation will look like this. So V3 over 4 plus minus V2 plus V3 all over 2, plus V1 over 4, plus V2 plus V2 minus V3 all over 2. And now let's break this equation down even more. So we're going to simplify this. So there's only there's V1 over 4, so that's just 0 0.25 V1. Then we have minus v2 over 2 plus v2 plus v2 over 2 so adding all of that up you just get v2 then we have v3 over 4 plus v3 over 2 minus v3 over 2 that's 
0 0.25 V3. And this will be equal to 0. And we uh, have actually have two more equations we can work with. Wait, oh, wait, hold on. Minus V1012. Uh, sorry, I forgot to include that 3. We can uh, get these equations and work with them. So we have V1 minus 12 equals V3. We can swap these two. So we'll have minus V3 uh, equals 12. And then we have V1 minus 2i equals V2. We know what i was. i was uh, V3 over 4. So we'll plug that in here. V3 over 4. And that's just V3 over 2. And let's bring the V2 to the other, to the other side. So it'll be minus V2 minus uh, V3 over uh, 2, which is 0 0.5 V3. And this is 0. Now you can, now we have three equations and three unknowns. Now you can plug each of them into each other, or you can solve, or you can use MATLAB, and you will get the following V1, you get minus 3 volts. V2, you get 4.5 volts and V3 you get 15 volts. So yeah, those are your final answers.